here's a little telling the time game. I have here my clock and some little pictures of different things that we do every day. So I begin by laying these out like this, randomly. They don't have to be in any particular order. Now if you can't draw, I mean as you can see these are very simply done, nothing fancy. But you can even put up photographs or even take photos of your child doing these different things. That's probably the easiest one. Or put out magazines where you see people doing different things throughout the day. Cut them out, you can plastify them or glue them onto cardboard to make them extra sturdy and that's how you can improvise. You can have a clock. You can either have your own little clock. If you don't have one, you can just print some out with different times. So we started out by doing all the clocks. For example, one o'clock. He reads the time and then he finds out, hmm, what's something that I do at one o'clock? This helps him not only to tell the time, but also to relate it to something that he does every day. This helps him with his schedule and um, relating the two together. So one o'clock, if he needs some help, then I, or the first round, we do it together. One o'clock, we have lunch. So he puts it in front of him. And then on and on we go. What happens at... He reads the time, 2 o'clock. He finds something else. Oh, we have some book time. Quiet book time while my little sister takes a nap. For example, here's wake up, play time. We have cars, car play. We have family time with dad and mom. We have snack, popcorn, school time, brushing teeth time, getting ready for bed, outside play. Or night time, time to go to bed. Anyway, these are just a few little pictures, but you can do many more, many different ones. Fun little telling the time game.